Hi, I'm Vic Sido. I'm in Berkeley. Thanks for visiting my uh, project and me. I'm recording some new music uh, for the last three years. It's been with a talented uh, sidekick named Eric Golub, G-O-L-U-B. I don't think I'm going to get these studio cuts out as fast uh, or as soon as possible without requesting uh, some participation. So why should you support my CD? Well, it might be that you have a particular song that you'd like to see get out to the public. So let me focus on a few songs. Mention a few premiums, too. You can hear raw tracks and download many of them for free now at SoundCloud by Broadside Balladeer. And I'll put links to that. And uh, right here at my Indiegogo page. Violin, the viola, the ukulele you hear. That's all Eric Golub. And the uh, always tasteful electric guitar comes courtesy of my brother, Rock and Rob Sado. So let's get started. We got no new blues. We want to get that out. It's an update. Uh, it has a verse about Fukushima. And we have a video out with the raw uh, soundtrack from the studio with Eric and I. And we have pictures of people singing it at the Japanese consulate uh, on the anniversary of the Fukushima disaster. So, uh, No New Blues was originally written in 1979 for Three Mile Island, and then we had to do a Chernobyl verse uh, for the uh, USSR days, and that was on Crazy Planet Band in 1988. Uh, Ride the wind. So this new version has the new verse about Fukushima. Now, an act of state. I haven't put that out yet. That's the execution of Martin Luther King. I wrote that uh, after reading William Pepper's book uh, by the same title. And the purpose of this song was to make uh, people realize that book was out there. And about how the King family won that trial in 1999 in Memphis, Tennessee. The same town where King was gunned down in broad daylight. So the song highlights a few of the uh, really stark discoveries that came out in that trial that William Pepper won on behalf of the King family. And after you hear about some of these uh, highlights that I picked to put in the song, you might want to read that book. And uh, you may want to help me get this song out. Uh, I was delighted to get a little thank you from William Pepper himself. And that little statement is uh, here in my Indigo page. We've got a song called Full Spectrum Dominance. So maybe you don't want to live in a post 9-11 surveillance state where you have no Bill of Rights, where the Empire destroys the Republic. Uh, if so, uh, help me get this uh, studio quality mixed down, full spectrum dominance out there. Meanwhile, the raw track's been used for a video, and that's getting some uh, notice on uh, YouTube. The Harbor of Love, we have a very nice uh, love song, and I uh, want to get that out. It's a Berkeley recording with uh, my buddy Eric Gold on viola and ukulele. And you can listen to that on SoundCloud. Uh, my father was from Normandy, and so uh, that's why I keep the, uh, my French language up. And uh, Eric and I have been doing some French language songs too. And uh, he always puts unique things on there with his own uh, arrangements. Uh, we have rough, rough mixes of Harbor of Love and Lori in English and in French at SoundCloud. And what I'm saying is mostly the stuff is recorded. So we need to do studio time. We need to pay for mix down and mastering work. Some licensing of covers. And we have to pay disc makers and CD Baby to get my product factory pressed and professionally packaged. Uh, the covers. Uh, we have Masters of War. It's a version that's uh, a little shorter and less morose than the young Bobby Dylan put out. Uh, same meeting and urgency. Uh, you can hear the raw mixed version of Masters of War at Eric Gold's sound cloud. We also have a version of John Lennon's Work Class Hero that we'd like to get on the CD. Uh, we did some Phil Oaks. Uh, we'll have to select something from there. And I met Phil Oaks in 1973 and 
put the interview I did with him out as a video, which is now on YouTube too, so check that out. I have a good track record of finishing projects. Uh, I put out uh, a 45 that had this cover from Mike Schwartz and this part from Debbie Hegedus, it's my artist. And we can make t-shirts from that artwork. Uh, we did uh, Ride the Wind, that was C.S. Wayne, Kurt Wayne made this and we have that also available in t-shirt with a uh, black t-shirt with uh, Kurt's are Urkel in there when we did the Planet Fold that was a Cajun Zydeco French language band and put this one out uh, that was uh, let's see Jeffrey Williams, who took this picture for me, and uh, we have the artwork for that on a t-shirt, and then we put out in 19, 2005, uh, Dean A. Banks and I put together a best of CD, it was called Broadsides and Retrospectives, you send me the see there, that was the fanciest thing we did, you send me the Dean helped me produce it. So, we have that when on this t-shirt right here, you and the one I'm wearing was the last thing I did, September 11th, 2011, 10th anniversary of 9-11, 9-11 Truth and Justice songs, what that was called. So, um, let's see, that pretty much is what I have to say. Let's wrap it up here, uh, the title of the new CD. Probably Truth Troubadour. I'm leaning towards that. Tell me what you think. You can write to me at Truth Troubadour at Gmail. So have a look around here. Uh, see if you want to participate in getting this CD out. And then we can use other CDs and things like that as perks. Uh, what else do I have to say? I'd like to get this out before my birthday. Yeah, in late July. Um, help me if you can. You can help me by sharing the link through this Indiegogo fundraising site on Facebook and in emails and uh, that would be much appreciated very helpful uh, so bye for now bon courage to all of you time is standing still somehow winds will change oh won't you blow make me want you